I'm sure Mary Barra is, is excellent at thinking strategically and tactically. Presumably she must have anticipated that this would be the president's response. She must have known that he would come out and make similar comments to the one that he has made. How, therefore, do you think she's kind of thought through how this ultimately is going to work out? Do you think she thought, you know what, I'm just going to ignore the president? Or do you think she thought, you know what, I'm going to have something in my back pocket to deal with the political fallout that is inevitable? She absolutely did not ignore the president. She, I'm sure, had eyes wide open on, on what this very outspoken president might say in reaction to this. Um, you know, this is sort of the beginning of a conversation. Uh, GM was very precise in its language, saying that these are unallocated plants. They haven't been allocated new product. They didn't use the you know, absolute term closed. We're entering a contract negotiation year with the United Auto Workers. The union was furious about this decision and have signaled that they, too, are going to try and find new products for these plants. So I think there is still an open question as to whether or not they will actually, all of them, close in the end. Keith, is there a question as well about Mary Barra's strategic plan here for this business? Essentially what she's doing is pointing GM towards becoming a service company, a company that produces cars but basically makes its revenue stream from offering a service around them. How is the kind of how is the analyst community greet, greeting this idea, and is it completely on board? Well, investors loved this news yesterday and drove up the stock, as you know. Uh, and the, all the analyst reports today have been very positive. They feel what she's doing is she is creating a stronger cash flow that will fund this future of services built around self-driving cars and electric vehicles. But you need to sell a lot of pickup trucks and a lot of SUVs today to make the billions required to develop those products for the future.